Hey everybody, welcome to the Midday Minute. It is Wednesday, May 6th. I hope everybody is having a really great day. Um, I wanted to start today's Midday Minute with an apology because I didn't do a Midday Minute yesterday. And the explanation for that is um, that uh, Lisa Lyon and Karen Davis have just been doing an awesome job painting my office. And yesterday was sort of the put back everything together day. And I got caught up in that and kind of forgot until it was way too late. So I'm sorry if you are one of the few diehard midday minute people and watch this every day. I appreciate you. I love you. Thank you for watching and keeping connected. Um, sorry for missing yesterday. Um, I will try to not, not have that become a habit. We'll continue to do these every Monday through Friday for, um, for the foreseeable future until you know things are back to normal and then we'll probably do some sort of version of this going forward even if even when we are back to normal so if you are the kind of person who just loves loves to see me regularly throughout your week um fear not so anyway sorry for missing yesterday we're back on it today um I guess I will start with the praise for today, and the praise and thanksgiving for today was not shared. It's not one of my personal ones. It was one that Pastor Justin shared, and um, he and Tiffany are doing a lot of different projects on their house right now, and um, he is thankful for a lot of the people in the church who have stopped by their house to help out and offer their expertise. Um, I know they've been doing some electrical work, and uh, and some plumbing and um, a lot of different stuff. And so he wanted to give a personal thanks to Brendan Smith, to Tom Swanson, and to Scott Rideout for all of their help. And um, it's really cool to see them being able to work together. It's kind of a different mode of doing things, balancing home life and kids and work and all the different responsibilities that we have. And Justin is just really thankful and blessed for those who have helped him out in the past couple of weeks with some of their some of their projects at home. So if you're one of those people, thank you and continue your, your awesome work. Um, scripture passage for the day is a powerful one, a really good one from um, Isaiah chapter 12. And it's Isaiah 12 verse 2. And it says this, it says, surely God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. The Lord, the Lord is my strength and my song he has become my salvation. It's an awesome verse. It's an encouraging verse. It's a verse that's kind of like, get you ready for battle kind of verse, right? And to me, it's the kind of verse that I need when the weeks wear on and uncertainty wears on and snow is in the forecast for the weekend and it's May. And it's just kind of cool to see like we don't put our hopes in anything other than the Lord. That Jesus Christ, the Lord of all, is our hope, is our salvation. We don't rely on, on people or, or governments or, or anything else to be that source of authority in our life. But it is God alone. And um, to just have that confidence and that reassurance that God is in control is something that, that, that I needed today. And hopefully you'll benefit from it too. So um, I'm trying to think off the cuff if there's anything else that I'm forgetting about. Mother's Day is this Sunday. Uh, you will all be receiving... Um, an email and some instructions for um, a really cool thing that our, our nurture team and hospitality teams are collaborating on for Mother's Day. So check the midday or check the midweek email today for some information about that. Um, check Facebook for that and also we'll be sending lots of emails so everybody knows what's going on for our plans for Mother's Day. So um, please pay, pay special attention to uh, the midweek email that's going to be sent out in a little while. Okay. That's it for me for today. Um, again, stay strong. Love you all. And I'll, I promise I will be back tomorrow. I will. I will not forget. Have a good day.